Hi, I'm Debbie Birch, and I'm with the Queen Anne's County Office of Tourism, and we're here today to talk about a big event that's coming up in August in Queen Anne's County. It's the 72nd annual Queen Anne's County Fair, and it's August 11th through the 16th at the Centerville, the 4-H Park in Centerville. And right now we're going to talk a little bit about the entertainment that is going to be happening at the fair, because every night there's a different um, band or act playing, and it's, it's great for the family. So here to talk about that is Dave McGlashan. Hi, Dave. Hey, Welcome. Hey, Debbie. How are you? I'm Thank good. You. Tell us about the bands because I know every night to close off, you know, the end of the show, there's a different band that you have booked. And Correct. tell us a little bit about who's coming this year. Sure, sure. Well, we have bands Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. Okay. And then we have uh, a, a DJ, karaoke, the hitman, Eddie Hit, is coming on Saturday. Oh, okay. Yeah, he's great. He's great. He was there last year. And... Uh, and the crowd loved him, and by popular demand, he's he's back again well, you this year. Got to go with what the crowd wants. <laughs> absolutely, absolutely. So with Tuesday night, uh, we start out with Chris Sachs Band. Okay. And Chris has been performing there for several years now, and uh, for you know, plays a lot locally, but also abroad. Plays right. down throughout the East Coast, down in Florida, quite a bit. And uh, Chris, is a great guy, great musician. Um, Tropical rock, I think, that's is how. I, yeah, they wear their their uh, tropical shirts and yep. Exactly, right in that, that exactly. I think that's Chris's brand is yep. tropical rock, and, and he's just an easygoing guy. Like I said, really great musician. His band's excellent, and they play. They can play anything. They can play like the classics, classic okay. rock. Uh, they they can do originals. They have their own. They do their originals and just just anything in between. I mean. If anybody has a request for Chris, I know he gladly takes them and says, and probably most he'll know and can do. Okay, and they start at 4.30. They start right? at 4.30, 4.30. correct. Okay. They're at the dinner pavilion. Uh, they play 4.30 to 7.30. Okay. That'll be all the bands. Actually, Monday, or I'm sorry, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday okay. will be 4.30 to 7.30. Okay. And then for Friday and Saturday, the bands will be 7 to 10. Okay, so then who do we have for Wednesday? For Wednesday, as a band that I'm uh, somewhat familiar with. Uh, mm, <laughs> oh, who's uh, that yeah, guy I, on the end I don't there. know who that guy is. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, so this is the Bay Country Gentlemen. I actually play in this band. This is a family band that's been around for uh, playing before even I was around. So, okay. uh, But have been playing, we've been playing the fair for... I don't know, probably 25 years, Who's I bet. Who's in the band? The band consists of, uh, the band leader is my father, Scott McGlashan. He plays guitar. Um, was my brother, but he has moved away. So we <laughs> now we had, to, we had to go out and find a replacement for him, which is hard to do. But we have a gentleman uh, from West Virginia. Uh, okay. Mr. David Props will be playing mandolin. And uh, okay. he's a great, uh, great player, great singer. Uh, we'll have a gentleman, uh, Larry Lynch, from Delaware, from the Delaware area, playing bass, fine, upright bass player. Um, Lady Miss Sue Tice, who actually plays uh, her regular band, is the Annapolis Bluegrass Coalition, right. I think you've I, had before. We had them at the Chicken Festival. Absolutely. Very popular very, local band. They are. Very excellent yep. band. And uh, Sue is a great fiddle player, and, and uh, she's been playing with us for the last several years. And uh, she'll, she'll be playing fiddle. And then, uh, and then yours truly will be uh, playing the banjo and, and singing some, and uh, so we're looking. We look forward to the fair every year. What type year. of music do you all play? In case somebody's not familiar. Sure, sure. We're playing uh, primarily bluegrass, but we also uh, delve into some of the uh, traditional country songs as well as some contemporary okay. country. So, okay. So yes. Yeah, so we'll be there Wednesday That's night. Wednesday. And uh, looking forward to seeing everybody as usual. And then Thursday, I know this is another band that's been around for a while. Sure, sure. The Jones Boys again. Uh, very. I'm, very, I'm big fans of all these bands uh, mm -hmm. that that are there, and uh, yeah, they have a big, huge following. Gr great band. Um, you know, it's primarily. Can, I love them. I love all the music that they do, but really, I love the, the traditional country. Right. It's just it's great. I mean, they and they they do it as well as anybody here on the shore. Um, so they'll be playing traditional country and contemporary country, and again, they have a large following. So they I'm expecting a large, a large turnout right. as usual for them. Uh, so on Thursday night, that'll be the Jones Boys. Okay, and then Friday. Then Friday, right? Then Friday we have uh, it's kind of our big music night, if you want right. to, you know, that we, you know, we have a lot of people come out, and we have. I'm really, really happy that this year we're going to have uh, Tarek. Lee Denny and his group, Twenty One Horses. Very popular band. Very popular band. Uh, they are everywhere. I was. Uh, we kind of were scrambling at the last minute to get them, and I was just so happy that they were available to right. play. I mean, to find them to have a they, Friday they night. They are everywhere. They are. They are. <laughs>
are everywhere. I so, think you said you're going to hear them tonight at the Thursdays in the Park at the Yacht Club. I am, I am. My <laughs> wife and I, that's right, are going yep. to the Yacht Club to hear them tonight, uh, and we're looking forward to that. And uh, But yeah, they're, you know, country. I, I, again, this will be actually the first time I've heard them out live. I've heard a heard them mm -hmm. uh, a lot of times just listen to some of their music via CD or, or right. look at going online and listen to them. Uh, but uh, yeah, so they'll be there in country. I say like the Southern rock. I mean, they right. really, these guys can really do it. Yeah, they're, they're good. And they have a huge following also now. And then you cap the week off with? With the Hitman, with Eddie Hit, wonderful guy, great performer, has been doing this for a long time, DJ Karaoke. So, so you say karaoke, and I'm like, oh, that could be anybody. You could have the kids <laughs> up there, the families up there. So you Absolutely right. It's for, you know, it would be for everybody. And I knew this, uh, we had him last year, like I was saying earlier, and uh, he was, you know, it was very popular. And so by popular demand, he'll be back. So I would encourage everybody to come out and uh Get up and, you know, sing one of your favorite songs. <laughs> uh, Debbie, there you go. No, thank you. <laughs> I don't mind singing, but nobody wants to hear it. Um, so, so there's something every night, and, you know, it's a family event. Um, you know, bring the kids, bring the family out, and come hear the entertainment. And if you need more information, you can go to the fair's website, which is www.queenannesco, for county, fair.com. And... Um, you know, the schedule's on there. If you need to, you know, find one of these bands, find out exactly what time or whatever. But we have the schedule on there. Dave, Excellent. thank you so much for coming sure. in and talking to us about these bands. Absolutely, Debbie. Thanks for having me. You're welcome. Don't forget to come to the Queen Anne's County 4-H Fair in Centerville, August 11th through 16th. It's fun for the whole family.